Hey everybody, I'm John and this is Blind Whiskey Reviews. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. Today I'm bringing you a very much requested video and um, what I've been meaning to do for a long time and I think it'll be helpful for you guys when I'm asking you what, what whiskeys you'd like to see next. So um, this is going to be part one, don't ask me when part two is going to be, I have no clue. But this is going to be part one of a kind of a tour through my whiskey collection and I really just wanted to kind of focus on, at least today, focus on the part of my whiskey collection that's the whiskeys that I have that I'm ready to review. So this is kind of the stuff that you'll see in my whiskey review pile when I'm doing the blind reviews. This is what's hanging around in the background, what what's being selected from for the most part. So I wanted to take you guys through this stuff and give you a tour of my uh, unopened this is all obviously unopened bottles. I'm not, all the bottles that are open, you guys have seen most of, so I didn't, didn't see the point in doing any of that. So these are mostly unopened bottles that I've got in my collection that uh, I'm going to review. And by that, I mean I have other bottles than this, but like perhaps there are duplicates of bottles that I've reviewed already or um, other variations, other batches of bottles I've reviewed already that maybe I don't necessarily want to review again. Um, or, you know, sometimes, <clears throat> what else do I have back there? I have other bottles that it's just, you know, are like single barrel store picks that I have that I'm not gonna review because maybe there's just not a point necessarily depending on the store pick. So anyways, I, this, is, this isn't every whiskey in my collection, but this is a good chunk of everything that I have available to be reviewed on the channel right now. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start out with um, kind of like the smaller distillery craft whiskey stuff that I have in my collection. So I have a couple of bottles from Smooth Ambler. This is the Smooth Ambler Contradiction and this is the Smooth Ambler Big Level. So I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing those. I've never tried either. So hopefully we'll be able to get to those ones in the near future here. Next is another small distillery that's been popping up lately and I've seen a lot of in the stores and I don't know how distribution is around the country, but this is Rabbit Hole. This is their, what was the name of this? This is their high rise small batch. So I'm looking forward into getting into that. All right, this is a bottle of the Uncle Nearest 1856. I've been wanting to get into this one forever. I've had this bottle forever and I'll be damned, blind review channels suck sometimes because you don't get to pick what whiskey you review, so hopefully I can get into this thing soon. Next we have Catoctin Creek. I reviewed one of these whiskeys. I reviewed their 80 proof whiskey. I also have their 46 proof and their barrel proof. So I'd like to get into those. Another distillery I reviewed is Infuse Spirits and they're now calling their whiskey line Broken Barrel. This is their Heresy Rye. I also have their, where is it? Here it is, their barrel proof whiskey. So I want to get, I've had those for quite a while. I just reviewed one of their new limited edition um, line, which is one of these guys. This is their Isle of Pete. I just reviewed their um, sherry cask, it was called uh, the cask of Amontillado. And I've got one more of them hiding in here somewhere. And this one is their Mizanara barrel aged whiskey. I just got this one. I've never tried these guys. I've never had an Australian whiskey. This is Star Word Twofold. It is a double green Australian whiskey and I've never had a whiskey from Australia before. So hopefully we get into that one soon. This is the Straight Rye Whiskey from Heaven's Door. I reviewed their bourbon, uh, had a sample of it. It was fantastic. So hopefully that one's just as good. I've got three different whiskeys from Treaty Oak. This is their red-handed rye whiskey aged 10 years. This is their red-handed bourbon whiskey, and this is their Ghost Hill Texas bourbon whiskey. I also have these two bottles from Three Chord. This is their blended bourbon whiskey, bottled at 81 proof, which I don't know how that one's gonna end up being. I also have their 12 bar reserve barrel proof whiskey, aged 12 years. This one sounds like it might be good. I also have these two whiskeys from Filibuster. I've reviewed one of their whiskeys before. Uh, I believe it was a bourbon. This is their Boondogger whiskey aged in five barrels, which is a little misleading. It makes it look like five years, but it's aged in five barrels. This is their straight rye whiskey dual cask finished. This is one I've been wanting to get into because I've been having a hard time with Texas whiskey if any of you watched my channel. So this is the Balconis. This is just their standard Texas pot still bourbon um, bottled at 92 proof. I'm excited to get into this one. This one I just got. This is the Taconic Distillery Double Barrel Maple Bourbon bottled at 115 proof. So great proof point. A maple barrel finish sounds super interesting. I've reviewed one of their whiskeys before. It was a cognac finish. It was great. Check that review out. 
This is the Few Spirits Bourbon. I've had this bottle for quite a while. Just never gotten pulled up for the random review. This is a whiskey from Del Back. It's called Dorado. It's a mesquite smoked whiskey, single malt whiskey. Uh, I believe these guys are in, is it Arizona or New Mexico? Arizona, Tucson, Arizona. So curious to get into this one. You guys know me and Pete are smoked whiskeys anyways. Not great with them. So hopefully when I get to that one, my palate will be more refined for the smokiness. This is the Breckenridge Bourbon. This is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys with <laughs> whiskey with snow melt from the Rocky Mountains. So maybe that's a little bit uh, novelty, but it sounds cool. This is a bottle of Pritchard's. Pritchard's Double Barreled Bourbon Whiskey. These guys are in Tennessee. This is Heritage Distilling. This is their dual barrel collection bourbon whiskey, dual aged using new and used casks. All right, we also have Rogue Spirits Dead Guy Whiskey. This is apparently the same recipe they use for their Dead Guy beer, and it's a distiller or a brewery up in Oregon. So that sounds pretty interesting. So that's pretty much like our small distillery craft whiskey stuff. Now we're gonna get into the big boys. We have the Evan Williams 1783, good budget pour. From Buffalo Trace, we have Hancock's Reserve. Also from Buffalo Trace, Blanton's. Canadian whiskey, Pike Creek, finished in port whiskey or port wine barrels. This is a whiskey I've had since before I started this channel and I'm still not reviewed. The Four Roses Small Batch. Old Ezra, seven year old. Still haven't gotten to this one. Another whiskey I've had since before I started this channel, Pikesville, straight rye whiskey. A relatively new release, the 12 year old uh, Bullet Rye. I have several different bottles of this, but this is the Evan Williams Single Barrel. This particular bottling is a 2009. I probably need to get a new one if I'm going to do a review of it, I guess. Jim Beam Distiller's Cut. Fantastic whiskey, great budget pour. Still haven't reviewed it. Came out a couple years ago. Jack Daniels Rye. The relatively newly released uh, from Jim Beam Legent. Old Bardstown from Willet. Also from Willet, Johnny Drum. Larceny from Heaven Hill. The Jim Beam Rye, very old Barton 100 proof. Uh, this is a Buffalo Trace store pick. Figured it'd be good to review a store pick of a whiskey like this, so that one's in the pile. Yet another whiskey that I've had in, in my whiskey review pile since before I started this channel, Four Roses Single Barrel. The Old Forester 100 proof bourbon. And the not so newly released anymore, Four Roses Small Batch Select. This is the Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit in the old bottle. I guess maybe I should probably get a new bottle if I'm gonna do the review so it's in the new packaging. This is a Russell's Reserve Single Barrel Store Pick. Again, these are pretty common to get so I thought it'd be a good one to review. I'm running out of room here. I think I need to clear some bottles. This is a Knob Creek Single Barrel Select Rye. These have been really good so I thought it'd be worth reviewing on the channel. This is the Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye. Great whiskey. This is the Knob Creek Twice Barrel Rye. I had a, a chance to try a sample of this. It was really good. Can't wait to get into this bottle. All right, we were running out of room. I had to make some space. Let's keep on going. Dickel 12. Why do they call it 12? It's not 12 years. I don't know, but we got that. Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. Just got this one not too long ago. Cannot wait to get into this. Evan Williams Bottled and Bond from Heaven Hill. Hope this one's sticking around. Can't wait to review that. Four Roses Bourbon. This is their bottom of, bottom of the shelf line. Got to get into that one at some point. Rittenhouse Bottled and Bond. Great budget rye. Really need to review that. Old Granddad Bonded. Classic bourbon whiskey from Jim Beam. Boo Rye from High West. One of their special releases. Really good rye whiskey. Midwinter Night's Dram. This one should be just hitting shelves with this year's new release for you guys. Hope you've been able to grab a bottle. High West American Prairie Bourbon, pretty good budget pour. Booker's Classic Whiskey. I've reviewed Booker's before, but this is a newer release of their Shiny Barrel. I'll probably be doing a no time like their present review of this. Little Book Chapter 2, this is No Simple Task. Little Book Chapter 1, The Easy Whiskey. Wild Turkey 17 year. Been wanting to get to this one for a while. We'll be doing a no time like their present review of that. Wild Turkey Decades, another one I've been wanting to get to. We'll be doing that one soon too. And Wild Turkey Revival. Yet another of the Wild Turkey Masters Keep series I haven't gotten to yet. I've only done Cornerstone, so hope you guys have checked that out. I'll hopefully be doing all three of these Masters Keep releases soon. Time to make more room on this table. All right, we made a little room. Now let's get into some rums. We've got the Dorley's eight-year-old Barbados rum made by Foursquare. Also got the Dorley's XO rum. 
This is the Papa's Pilar Sherry Cask Finish Edition. This is the Four Square Premise. This is finished in X Bourbon and X Sherry Casks. The 2004 Cask Strength uh, X Bourbon Cask from Four Square. This is the 2005 12 year old X Bourbon Cask release from Four Square. This is the 2007 12 year old Cask Strength release from Four Square. This is the Plantation Overproof at 69% ABV. And this is the Santa Teresa uh, 1796 Solera rum. All right, now we'll move ourselves into a few Irish whiskeys. Can't be an Irish whiskey without the recently released, or not so recently anymore, Proper 12 from everybody's friend, Connor McGregor. We've got the Jameson Black Barrel. I've reviewed a couple Jameson whiskeys already. Green Spot, I've been really looking forward to trying this one. Haven't been able to do it yet. Hopefully we review it soon. Redbreast 12 year. Great whiskey. One of my favorite Irish whiskeys I've ever had. And one I've yet to try, the Redbreast Red Breast 12 year cast strength. Can't wait to get into this one. All right, we're almost out of space. We're gonna keep on trucking and get into scotch. We've got the Lagavulin 9 year Game of Thrones release. We've got the Kirkland 20 year Sherry Cast Finish. Classic Oben 14. McAllen Gold, which I hear is not quite as good as the regular 12 year, so we'll see. Lefroy, 10 year old. This one scares me. Highland Park 12. I hear great things about Highland Park. I really want to try this. Johnny Walker Green Label, 15 year old. I'm not a huge fan of Johnny Walker, but this thing I got for a steal at Costco, so had to be done. Lagavulin 16. I've had a couple of Lagavulins. I really enjoy them, and I hear the 16 is no exception. And we'll finish it off with one of my favorites, Glendronic. Glendronic's one of the best scotches that I've had that I really enjoy. I really enjoy the sherry stuff. This one is great, the Glendronic 12 year old. So that's it everybody. As you can see, we got a lot of whiskey. We emptied a lot of whiskey off this table already. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what we've kind of got sitting in the pile waiting for you guys to be reviewed. So if you guys have any suggestions of things you want to review, this is what I've got available. If there's something you didn't see, let me know in the comments down below if I'm missing out on some amazing whiskeys out there. Can't wait to hear from you guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.